Hello, this time we will explain how Wolf HP engine from Sparklops works on open bolt mode. After trigger is being pressed, nozzle coil is energized and nozzle starts to move forward. BB is being loaded inside the hop-up chamber. At this point we can see that BB is already fully loaded inside the hop-up chamber. However, how fast the nozzle will reach the forward position is dependent on multiple factors, such as battery voltage under load, friction, BB insertion force, magazine spring force, and PVM setting. For this purpose, it is good to have extended nozzle dwell time to, to be sure the BB is loaded fully inside the chamber and the seal is good because if you have a low battery voltage or high magazine spring force the nozzle will be slower and thus will take longer time. After nozzle dwell timer expires valve coil is energized. Piston starts to open and at this point we can already see that BB starts to leave the barrel. After valve dwell timer expires, valve coil is turned off and piston starts to close. At this point BB dwell timer is activated because the BB is still in the barrel and waits for the BB to exit the barrel. After BB dwell timer expires, Nozzle is being energized into rear direction. Nozzle starts to move to the rear. You can also see that the BBL is slowly being loaded inside the hop-up chamber. And nozzle is already in the back position. However, it is safe to have some safety margin in case the battery voltage is low. So the nozzle stays in back position and waits for the BB to be loaded fully. At this point we have reached the end of the cycle. The length of the cycle will be dependent also on rate of fire setting. If the rate of fire is high, the cycle time will be lower. Therefore the BB might have harder time to fully be loaded inside the chamber. However, if the rate of fire setting is low, then the cycle time will be higher and BB will have more time to be loaded inside the chamber.